Well, certainly you don't have as much room when we're not when we're on the we're on the uh, stadium field, and guys, it's just hard to pitch and catch. The ball's really wet, and, and so the execution is not going to be there. But we got work in, so it was okay. So you know, obviously in a game like this, you're a big favorite. Everyone thinks you're going to win, but there were a bunch of upsets uh, in week one, including some you know FCS teams beating FBS teams. Is that something that you remind the team of? Yeah, I will. I'll, I will talk about it. Uh, in the, They've got you know, 60 some guys on scholarship. They've got a lot of good players, and you know, you look every weekend, somebody gets upset because they're not focused, or the other team plays really good. So you gotta, you gotta get their attention. I think our guys will be ready to play. Coach, when you play a team like Grambling State, who's on a significantly lower level, is there a different approach? Like, are you worried, are you worried about the fundamentals, or is it just going out there and getting? Them no, as like I said, you know, they got almost as many scholarships as we do. But you know, one day should beat one day players. That's, you know, that's kind of the uh, deal. It's like one double A should beat division twos. But again, our guys know they'll get, they'll watch the film. They'll see that uh, they've got good players and, and then they're a good one double A. They're not a, you know, they're not a bad one. They're a good one. So we got to be ready to play. Do they have a running quarterback? Or yeah. Running quarterback? Yeah. He's very athletic and uh, they'll run some, they're running some spread principles and zone reads and run past stuff. So some stuff our guys are similar to seeing, but they're, like I said, their, their quarterback is really impressive. How did your defense do again when when BYU ran the zone reads? Well, not well week? at times. You know, we missed a couple assignments on Taysom Hill, and and uh, they got us a few times. But we see it; our guys see it every day, so they should be ready for it. Were there certain instances on Saturday where you would like to have seen I knew run in some of those situations a little bit more? Maybe. Yeah, he, he could have. There were some opportunities to run and take off. I mean, he's he's better when he's throwing on the run. And, and uh, he's had some games where he's ran really well. So, uh, but you know he's got to they got to do what the defense gives us. That's the biggest thing for us. We got to just take what the defense gives us. So you were mentioning the turnover thing um, yesterday, and probably the, the best guy you've had here as far as creating turnovers was Scooby. What what did he do? What was he good at in that regard? Or he's what, just why a really was he good here? player. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's obviously, uh, but he had a knack for going after the ball, and he was just really aggressive. I mean, the thing that makes the best defensive players the best is that they're really aggressive. I mean, every play they're trying to, to make the tackle and you know strip the ball out and, and be active, and, and Scooby was one of the best I've ever seen. In. The, the defensive guys have talked a lot about running to the ball, getting multiple hats to the ball. Do you think you did a good job in that regard in the game against We BYU? were bad. I, I thought, again, our hustle, our effort was pretty good. There were a couple times that, you know, I like to got more hats to the ball or got off blocks a little quicker. But for the most part, the hustle was pretty good. Are there any specific drills that you're working on that you take away from BYU, like working on zone read or? Uh, well, that's a that's kind of a given every week, depending on if, if the team we play does that scheme. Uh, we're doing a little extra work on tackling because we uh, weren't the best at tackling on on Saturday. But uh, you know, our our schemes, what we do defensively against, the really depends on what kind of scheme we think the opponent. Will have. What was it like to be able to participate in that ceremony with Zach's parents? Well, Before certainly emotional. You know, we knew going in that uh, it was going to be an emotional time for us and for the family and. It was great that I hadn't seen his mom and dad since the service, so it was good to see them before the game.